What's up guys? I'm gonna review a video by my favorite guy Joey. It's called I've never eaten a more delicious breakfast in my life ever. <laughs> Derek Sano here from Wicked Kitchen. How you going, Derek? I'm really good. Awesome to hang out and uh, actually cook with you, Joey. Finally, other than following you and doing the, watching your amazing work, I'm super excited to actually cook for you now. So this is Dezza's Kitchen. Can I call you Dezza? It's yeah, yeah. A, it's a bad nickname, <laughs> but you know, that's great. He has a really psychotic look still. It's only gonna get worse, obviously. But we're in your kitchen here, and what do we got here today? What are we gonna to do today? Like, we've got some breakfasty stuff, it looks like. Yeah, so. Breakfasty stuff? A, kind of <laughs> what is that? Oh, they look good. Did we get a close up of these patties? Check them out. How do the patties look good exactly? Because they look like meat. So you're saying you like the look of meat, animal flesh. Okay. Get rocking. Alright, guys, so we're gonna make these breakfast sandwiches and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you help me out a little bit I'm gonna okay. have you we please cut this so I have uh, this knife you can cut these in half for me do you trust me with this knife though, I Derek? trust you here do me a favor let me see <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't ever in a million years man the guy <laughs> <laughs> let's see this for a second I'm gonna open the tip no, man. the easiest way it's not even oh, really funny right. okay. you can cut those uh-huh so that's why I got that egg texture yeah and as far as instead of buying gadgets to press tofu I just use my hand why waste why waste the money on buying a gadget when you can yeah, just do this? Yes. And I don't mind a little bit of water in there because, you know, it's packed in water. I don't know why we have to try to escape it all the time. <clears throat> so, thank you for doing that. Now I'm going to have you do me a favor. Super, just butter them. Butter okay. each side, butter them really well. So, just let me show you here quick. So just butter it <laughs> super well. That's yeah. naughty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that really is naughty and it's actually disgusting because uh, if it's made out of mostly vegetable oils, which I assume, really any plant oils in general, it's usually hydrogenated, let's say it's not, then still you're eating so many polyunsaturated oils, it's so incredibly inflammatory because it's based on omega-6s and uh, that's processed also. It can't really get any worse than eating vegan uh, butter. And then I'm going to crank on the <laughs> stove. <laughs> and what do we got for butter actually? We've got the Vita Light dairy free plant based yep. deliciousness. And people can get them from any shop, their local Tesco. Yep. Or, I, uh, I do most of all my shopping at Tesco since I work for Tesco. Yeah, te what, tell us cool what story. you do at Tesco. You know, there was this point where Tesco took this massive turn, and I was like, Look how vegan it is in here. Like, 2018, yeah, exactly. The Wicked Range. The Wicked Range is completely vegan, so you're completely safe here. They've got a lasagna. If you want um, meals already done, the Wicked Range is amazing. So you don't wonder why such a big supermarket chain all of a sudden introduces all of these plant-based meals? It's not maybe because they want everybody to eat plant-based, to possibly go vegan? That never crosses your mind? Go Tesco, look at this one. Go Tesco. Dude, you just started cranking it in there. I was like, wow. So I'm going to oil the pan a little bit. I like using cast iron pans because of the even heat and I love the weight of it. And then I also, I always have two because I do a lot of cooking with mushrooms and pressing mushrooms. So maybe we'll do one of those soon. Plant oils oxidize super easily. Cooking with plant oils in general, it's just not very clever whatsoever. People always used to use animal fat and that's what people should still do if they want to cook. I mean, being vegan now for eight years, I kind of bends my mind out that people actually eat pigs for breakfast. Yeah, it's a little uh, crazy. So this has got that, you know, sausage -y. <laughs> It's so crazy that people eat uh, something that they've been eating since the beginning of life. And now people who actually imitate it with incredibly unhealthy ingredients, those are the sane ones. <laughs> We're just starting to sear off these. I'm just going to do a quick flip. So... I'm just gonna oh my God. put these, get a nice little color on the, oh, on the sausage patty. They're super good, man. They're so succulent and oh, they're just good. And then I have the tofu going. You're literally describing animal food cravings, yet you call people crazy who actually eat the pigs. So what I'm gonna season this with as well is to make that eggy flavor is I use black salt. Uh-huh. So Kalanamak. Okay, you also want the eggs. Black. But you can smell that. It just smells like sulfur. Yeah, egg, yeah. Eggy smell, you know? And tofu's got that, it's like the perfect egg 
replacement. So it, when it you is. put this on there, it is. you oh, really, yeah. it's like, wow. It is. And we could you, we could have taken the time to dye it with the turmeric, and all I would do is hot water, a little tea, half a teaspoon of turmeric. It's a perfect egg replacement, some kind of estrogenic sponge with basically no other nutrients compared to eggs, which have the fat soluble vitamins A and D, which you will never get from plants in general. Basically, almost everything you need. <laughs> oh, look at it! Am I getting that? That is. Grill the uh, yeah on top of here. And that was that's why you said go thick with the butter. Yeah, yeah, because that'll grill in that flavor. It makes it super moist in the end, oh. just like you're eating at McDonald's, you know. Okay, uh, it's essentially two severely mentally ill guys here. It's as if they are salivating, just imagining that those are actual animal foods, meat and eggs. Uh, you can totally see it, and they want fat so much, and every. It just goes so incredibly much against human nature. It's so bizarre. I hope you're, you know, our replacement for a sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I didn't give up animal products because I didn't like the taste. Oh, I no. gave up. I gave up because of. Yeah, you like the taste naturally because it's our natural diet. Obviously, if it tastes good, then you should eat it. And yes, that only applies to natural foods, not processed ones. Obviously, not fake food. But if an animal tastes good, well, then maybe you should eat animals. Same reason you. I used to smash those sausage McMuffins. Exactly. Exactly. You know. So now we can just make our own. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, people always say, "Well, why are you trying to replicate like sausage?" And it's because it's tasty. Yeah. But we don't want like an animal suffering to death for it. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? I totally do. But that's exactly what you want. That's human nature. We are predators. We hunt animals, we eat them, we like the taste because we like to eat dead animals or animal flesh. That's what it's all about. If you try to make meat out of uh, plant oils and uh, whatever garbage is in there, then of course you're simply going to be nutritionally deficient and uh, then you're going to make all of these meals, but they of course don't have the nutrients, so you're just going to make tons of them all of the time Create new recipes, just go completely mental until you break down. Oh, look at the garden. <laughs> so it's nice, and, and we're gonna toast them, so we have- It's as if you can't there. wait to eat, oh, Joey. We have a couple of golden like, muffin. Like, when is it ready? We're cooking for the whole crew here, so we got four of them we're doing. And then he's gonna eat it, and he's still not gonna be satisfied. And it will go on until he gets super sick. Yeah. Beyond yeah. have got a, like, a pork Indeed. sausage, if you can get that, but like... Yeah, in America they do. They, yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen it here well, yet. Well, it's, it's in Starbucks in the UK, because I tried yes. it the other day, and I was like, whoa. Good? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's all of the guy eats meat off. replacements. Richmond Foods also have a pretty good vegan bacon um, in the UK. And yeah. uh, I prefer the Richmond's, or even the Naked, which the is naked. good. Yeah. Nice. So try to check out the vegan bacon. They're getting really good, actually. Uh, or maybe you can make your own. We, and so we have a Wicked Healthy Cookbook. We have a whole section on how to make different vegetables into bacon yeah. and tofu into bacon, rice paper into bacon. You can well, pretty you much. Go. It's all about the flavoring. Frankie, Frankie, who's Frankie? Oh my lord! There you go. That's for you. Oh Frankie. wow, that's. Uh... Can we get a shot so people can see? Okay, so we're gonna give it what fake cheese. So it's animal abuse right in front of our eyes, and they don't even get it, probably. Frank, Frank, hello, darling. Got some cheese for you? This is the fall of your heart cheese, the smoked cheese. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> look at your beautiful, beautiful fur. So silky. It's not going to be beautiful if you're going to continue feeding him that. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> It's bacon, Bake. vegan bacon ace. Bake no nays. <sighs> What's this cheese here? Follow your heart. This is the follow your heart smoked gouda. Smoked smoke gouda. Smoke gouda. Mm. So I'm just gonna a little bit of this bacon ace. Oops, just a little bit. Now you could add hot sauce, you could add sriracha, you could add barbecue sauce. I'm not a ketchup fan. So. <laughs> no, nobody on earth would call this the best breakfast ever. It, it makes no sense. The only reason he does that is because he craves animal foods so incredibly much that anything that replicates it and gives him some illusion of eating animal fat especially is of course going to be the best breakfast ever for him because he's starving. His cells in the body are starving 
And he's completely delusional and in denial. So I would not add ketchup, but I know people like it. But I, I love I, ketchup. I just don't. With a pack of four, I usually will make four and I'll have one every morning. Some days, admit, I might have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right. <laughs> so I'll just eat the same thing. So you're eating like a vegan king over here, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to move in. To... <laughs> What's, you got a spare room here, mate, or what? I do. I do for special guests, Joey. Vegan muffins every morning. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, and then I just like to oh, Good clean one. up. They're really hot right now, so we need to uh, let them sit for a second. Oh. Might have to get a <laughs> picture of my phone here quick. I don't know what is supposed to look good about it. Uh, the big block of tofu is super unappealing and unappetizing. I don't even understand why a vegan would like it. Just like, I want to tell you guys, like, the, the smell right now is like That's warm good. muffins, butter. Deliciousness. You know, sausage. And melted cheese, that's the smell. <laughs> and that's nice. Okay. With the camera guy in the back. There you go, nice. Nice. Wow, well, smells good. So it is time for a taste test, but... You gotta eat. Yeah, but I, I thought because we have off camera Jimmy the Sound Guy, Jimmy, um, the, sound guy. Jimmy the Sound Guy's not vegan, so I thought, well, we, we've been vegan for a while, we know what this stuff kind of tastes like, so let's get Jimmy. Jimmy, a non-vegan's perspective here. There he goes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh. It's probably what some might. Oh. It's good, but it's, it's delicious, man. That's really good right there. Of course. Oh, sorry. Sure I know. Good. I know because I've eaten so many. Would he ever say anything else while filming a video? Ever? <laughs> the tofu is so nice and tender. Mm. Immersive with everything. Gorgeous. And, and you, you're a, you were a chef for a mm -hmm. while. And you chefs do be honest, don't they? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So yeah, this is good. really, really something else. And it's messy, which is good. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Beautiful. Mm, mm. I will have some though. Yeah. <laughs> you want some hot sauce? I got hot sauce. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, mate. Mm. Living the dream here. We live the dream here. We live the dream. Look, they have this new uh, surround. This is a dream. You're delusional, so I guess you could call it a dream. To normal people, it looks like a nightmare. See? Good it's good. Thanks for that, mm -hmm. mate. I'll give you that $100 later for, for that review. <laughs> no, we're already joking. That was a real review. Cheers, man. Cheers. Let's go. <laughs> I like the knife sounds between the clips. Mm. Oh, man. Thank you. Mm. Ah. That's good, man. That sausage is flavoursome. So thank you for tuning in. We've got some more recipes coming, so stay tuned for the next episode. Yeah, thanks, Joey. No worries. Cheers, man. He just looks uh, fragile. Something is wrong with his bones and his skin. I guess that's uh, eight years of veganism, if that's really true. <laughs> that would also explain, obviously, those insane animal food cravings you have, man. I just don't understand what's going through your head that you don't understand. You really live in denial and say that you like the taste and it's all about the taste. You don't understand that we taste the nutrients when we eat the food. That's why we like the taste. You're trying to imitate nutrients which are not found in plants, so you will never be able to imitate any of it. That's because plants don't have over 50 nutrients, as uh, you can see. This is exactly why veganism is malnutrition. And it would be funny if a few people would eat a vegan diet and uh, we could laugh at them or feel sorry for them. Usually both. Whatever, but uh, seeing as it's an agenda that's being pushed, as you could see in the Tesco, for example, all of the supermarkets are offering more and more plant-based options. Eventually, you won't have much of a choice and you will just have to eat what is available. Meat is already quite expensive. And people, like this dumb guy, are being used by... All of the corporations, Big Pharma, to promote their diet so that everybody gets sick and they are the only ones laughing and he's just too mentally ill to understand what's going on. Thanks for watching.